one very important point your first attempt will be the easiest attempt to score a higher percentile what's up boys and girls this is nikhil you guys still have 6 months of time and for the first 3 months i would suggest that you give equal importance to all the three subjects then after 3 months if you feel that you are completely lagging behind in one subject or you are completely not able to understand one subject then what you do is you give more weightage to those two subjects you're strong at and in that third subject which you're weak at you have to study just enough to score 40 marks in the initial stages itself just don't give importance to two subjects try giving equal importance to all three subjects see what happens the reason for not being able to understand one subject a major reason would be that you did not select your teacher or mentor correctly take your time to find that particular teacher or mentor whose teaching style you are absolutely comfortable with before all of this just ask yourself whether you really want to do engineering or not if not just leave this topic here itself go forward with whatever you want but the thing is whatever you want to take there is a competitive exam for everything in india right i don't think competitive exams are bad after all except for the fact that there are completely unrelated subjects that are asked along with your core subjects see the first step to clear the aim and get a great percentile is knowing your exam so this is what you have to do in the chapters that you have studied till now take the previous year question papers especially 2020 and 2021 and check those question papers once once you check you know you will understand what are the level of questions where are they asked from how much you should study for that particular exam right and from this you will be able to come to a conclusion of what books you should be following now if you ask me to recommend books for physics it would be h c verma and d c pandey for chemistry inorganic it would be only and only ncert and for a selected physical chemistry chapters like surface chemistry it's only and only ncert textbook if you see any question paper all the questions are taken from ncert only for those sections of chemistry and mathematics i would say you should go for rd sharma objective make a time table this i cannot tell you how to do because it's a very individual specific thing make a time table according to your strengths one very important point your first attempt will be the easiest attempt to score a higher percentile so try to give your best in the first j attempt so study accordingly see if you're serious about your preparation your distractions will automatically be in control otherwise it will manifest in some form or the other to prepare seriously you should kind of sort of know what would happen if you do not clear the examination for me my motivating factor was fear of humiliation from the friend circle like i didn't want them to tell that this guy studied so many hours but still he couldn't clear the exam it could be anything right now if you're able to find a guy such that your story of preparation and his story of preparation exactly matches and if he was able to clear the exam then this automatically reassures your mind that even you can clear the exam because same stories same path he cleared you could also clear you you have to think of it in this way you have a problem in front of you which is clearing the exam think whether people in your situation have cleared the exam if yes you can do it so i'll tell you what the important chapters for physics chemistry and maths are in the upcoming videos so that's it thank you for watching